to click like, subscribe, the bell notification, and whatever else YouTube has you clicking on to support us. What's up everyone? I'm the Kaiju no Kami from the Toku and Animation News Network here at Power Morphicon 2024 with... Rory D. Travis. How are you guys doing? And for people who might not know what you're from, what are you from? Ah, I am the Red Ranger from Power Rangers Beast Morphers on Nickelodeon, on Netflix, and uh, on YouTube, I guess. <laughs> and you were a part of the first series when Hasbro took it over. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yep, I, I joined, what, 2018's when we filmed the show. We filmed the show in New Zealand. We were there for almost a year. And, uh, what, filmed two seasons out there. The show came out in 2019. And yeah, what was the experience like being able to film Power Rangers? Did you were you a fan of it beforehand, or is it something entirely new to you? No, no, no. I was definitely familiar with Power Rangers before. Um, let's say I, I grew up in the Wild Force. For those who are familiar, I grew up in the Wild Force, uh, Dino Thunder, SPD era. And then I got like in the middle school, you know, started crushing on girls and all that stuff. And then I didn't start uh, 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 getting back into the show until I was studying for the uh, boarding course. So um, what I studied at RPM. And studied uh, Dino Charge, Need to Steal, Samurai, and uh, Now you also do our acting coach, correct? Yes, yes, what is that like? Oh, it's great. I have my students. Shout out to uh, Diabro Modeling in uh, Columbia, South Carolina. My students are phenomenal. I mean, it's, that's my passion. That's why I come to the conventions like this. My whole purpose, I feel like, is try to, you know, inspire and show people, like, you know, you can be like a regular person and still, you know, do good in the world or still strive for your dream and still just, just put in work to fulfill whatever you have to do. But sometimes you have to, you know, sometimes the door's not always open for you the way you hate to be, you know. Sometimes you have to step around that door. Sometimes you have to, you know, take a few steps back down the stairs to get it back around. Sometimes you got to kick the door down. But as long as you move forward, so to show that you know, keep moving forward in life, and, and as a living testimony, as a living, you know, uh, a guy that's been through all these ups and downs and trials and tribulations in life, you can still find success. And do your students love the fact that they have a former Power Ranger as a teacher? Yeah, yeah, they still ask me, you know, do, oh my god, can you do it, can you still more, can you do it, can you do it? So, uh, I play with them, you know, <laughs> do what? You know, what time is it? No. Oh, okay, and then I say, it's morphin' time, you know, and, ah, you know. And again, it's, it's show it. What you do, <laughs> what you do is you be like, okay, if you're good for the rest of the day, at the end of the day, I'll do it. At the end of the day, I'll do it. I did, um, because I was a teacher for the last 13 years for elementary, yes. and when Avengers Endgame came out, I was like, okay, guys, if you're, for every time I have to tell you to play, I'm going to write a, start writing a spoiler of Endgame on the board. Oh, no, no, don't ruin the movie for me. Yes, you got to tell them. You have to, you know, trick them on and it works. Yeah. <laughs> so, since you said you did grow up watching Power Rangers series, did you have a favorite? Yes. So, um, let's see. Growing up, my favorite was SPD. That's actually uh, my favorite as well. Yeah, right. I, 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 I got to see Dino Thunder and kind of do that, look back into the crystal and see like the upcoming future of Rangers. And I'm just like, whoa, I, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I'm a Star Wars geek at that. Um, so, it was like, cool just to see a Rangers going into space. I, I never seen the in the space, so that was like my first time oh my them going to the outer uh, planets and doing their thing out there. And um, yeah, so Power Rangers, SPD, I see growing up. Uh, my adult life, you can say, RPM. Like, you know, RPM was Another very great dark, one. you know. I, I, I can say, you know, if there's any Power Rangers to watch for an adult, like the mature content, a little bit more, of course, it's still Power Rangers. But, yeah, RPM, like, dude, like, Black Ranger almost went to Red Angel, like, you know, and the scenes just keep, like, almost did it. I thought he was going to do it. Like, it was great acting. Um, and it's amazing that RPM came out as dark as did, considering the Japanese counterpart, Belanger, was pretty more lighthearted and more sillier. Really? See, I have, I'm not familiar with it, so it was. Yep. So, sillier. Yep. Well, you know, their, their costumes, I kind of, I can make people think that. It, it was weird because it was like the costumes were a little bit on the, I would say, like hard side, not, not so edgy, you would mm -hmm. say. Like ours, you know? We had like flight suits and it was, it was really cool. And then their the entire show, like, was Doomsday. You know, and the whole circumstances throughout the entire show were very uh, dire. So, and then it was great that we had a homage to them. 
Yeah, so were you aware, I mean, did you get to see any of the Japanese footage before you recorded, or was, was it all the Power Rangers footage you had to work with? No, no, yeah, all the Power Rangers footage, um, they, of course they put Japanese footage in there. I didn't, I didn't even know that they used Japanese footage when they were uh, doing the show. Um, I watched Goldbusters while filming the show, not before, and I didn't know at that time they had a uh, Japanese version. Oh my God! We, we copied. Is this? Can we do that? Can we copy another show? Um, you guys didn't have all the throwaway sunglasses, though. No, no, no. I love Go Busters, you guys. I mean, it, I think the Red Ranger is like definitely a little bit more cool than Devin. Uh, you know, he he, he just he was just. He was top tier. Um, Same with Enter. Enter was my favorite in Go Busters. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Blaze's character. Uh, it, it was it was one of the things like they slipped, they switched the outfits together. He started with the yellow outfit, um, and we eventually uh, Blaze ended up in that same outfit in season uh, two. Um, so yeah, it, it has some definitely changes. And then you know, as far as Go Busters, what we're talking about it, they use so much of the spy aspect. Mm -hmm. I don't. I think we didn't. I don't know. We, we didn't really focus a lot on the spy aspect, the secret agent of what, you know, Grid Battle Force really was. Well, you know, we fought as the Power Rangers, we fought as, you know, the Beast Forms. But as far as, like, marketing, I feel like, you know, all the gadgets, just like, I don't know, like, look at this. Our swords were binoculars. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah, you know, like, I'm like... Well, and the what? cameras were also the guns and... It, exactly. This guy, this guy comes to me with the, um, uh, Cheetah Beast X... It's got a show up, it's straight promotion. With the Cheetah uh, Beast X King um, like blaster, right? Yeah, I don't even know how to like form this together, so I'm not even gonna try on camera, like forgive me. But yes, like I'm like, okay, dude, like th where is this in America? So so we lost we lost something there, right? You know They also lost the being able to do a parody of the James Bond theme. How so? No, I'm just saying that they could have also done the parody of the James Bond theme. Then why not? For it. So I, I, I don't get it, I don't get it, but hey, we're here, we're here now. What hobbies do you like to do outside of teaching and acting? Yeah, I like to dance, I like to sing, uh, so you guys have sure seen me dance a time or two, you know, you know, you, you, you hear the song, you hear the rhythm, you can't, you can't I just can't help it sometimes. Uh, and I like to sing, I'm always singing, uh, um, you know, I'm always like, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a kind of like a, a, a sad love song kind of a guy. You know, so this is hard, hard. So then, what me, what song would you use to describe yourself? Mm, I never thought of that. A song used to describe myself. Ah, uh, I'm not sure. That's a good question. I gotta think about it. Let's come back to it. Let's come back to it. I have no idea at this time. Well, one thing I have to say that seems really awesome because you really seem that you love to be around people and that you that you recognize you had an opportunity and you want to give back to the community, which is very inspiring. It's just like one of the things, like as myself as a YouTuber, I'm like everyone. All I've had a bunch of fans come up to me like, oh, my, oh you're catching no comedy, like. And they're like, oh, you're so nice. It's like, well, because if it wasn't for you guys, I would be nowhere. Yeah, yeah. So I don't feel like, I don't want to be that person like, oh, well, thanks for watching. Bye. Yeah. No, man. Like, oh. This has been great. And like I said, this is essentially what I'm here for. I love people like you that, like, that, that take notice into your effect, and that's what you are as a teacher. You know, that ultimately, you want to give your knowledge back. You want to have some type of influence in the world. And, you know, you got to continue to do it. So, is there an acting role you have done outside of Parnus that you are most proud about? Um, acting role outside of Parnus that I'm most proud about. Let's see. It's been a long time acting, dude. Ah, let's see. Oh, yeah, I did. For like, a memorable a, uh, experience? Yeah, no, I did a role for like a PSA that I was kind of talking about, like, at least for the talent. Uh, and it was something like, you know, I really had to be the victim in that situation and I was talking, I was trying to save a guy from, uh, um, I don't know how you know, deep we can get into it, but I was trying to save a guy from committing suicide off the bridge. And, uh, you know, I helped him off the bridge and at the time uh, a police officer saw that I thought I was like, trying to uh, mug the guy as I was trying to get him off the bridge. Because he was a little bit, you know, irate, you know what I'm saying. Um, and he happened to be a, you know, a white guy. And so he 
police end up, you know, arresting me, and I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? And, you know, I get really into it, so I was proud of my performance, because I just really, I've never been in any type of experience like that ever. But to really just kind of be in it, I told God, you know, just make it as, make it as kind of real as possible, you know, like, I, I don't, I've never been in this type of situation, I've never met it to a degree. So, like, let's, let's just make it as real as possible, I'm just gonna go off the you know what I'm saying? So to be in that type of situation and to feel, you know, like it's being plugged to the ground, completely to the dirt, you know, and, and scrape, you know, I got a scar, you know, from, from just trying to really get into the character and the body of it. It's just like crazy just how, you know, how real life will have to get in circumstances and just how you need to put awareness to such causes and such things. So yeah, that was one of the worst things. And it's an important subject matter because it is just disgusting that that happens all the time. It's been happening all around the world, um, not just for the black people, but for all races and all people. Like you know, it's it's it's, it's time that we put awareness. It's, it's, it's good we have social media. It's good we have people like you that are doing this. That you know we are putting an eye out on things that need to be seen. You all, what social media links can people find you at? Yes, they can find me at Roy Travis. I'm on um, IG, on, uh, on Snapchat, it is Royal18, and on TikTok, it is also Roy. It's Roy.Travis, R O R R I E T R A V I S. You can find me there. Any final words for our viewers? Oh, you guys, just remember all the words that we've said. It's, it's, it's our job, it's our opportunity to change. Um, and always remember, may the power protect you. And it's more for time! Well, thank you so much for your time. And until next time, bye.